Welcome back. New at 9 today on our show and tell with Tony, a local business owner is sharing the workbooks that inspired her lifelong interest in sewing. Which she has since turned into a thriving business. Here's Tony with more. My guest today is Katie Forgeron. Katie is a local business owner, and we'll hear more about that in a second. But first, tell me, what did you want to show and tell us about today? So today I have my grandmother's workbooks from when she was in her 20s, and these are her sewing books. She began with paper patterns and then split them up so that she could get the actual design of, um, I think this is a skirt. This looks to be like a shoulder, which is so cool. Um, and again, you can just see how perfect everything was. Wow. She was so meticulous in sewing, and it just feels really nostalgic to go through, you know, a couple generations um, of women who are now sewing. And this led to your eventual, you know, ownership of this business, uh, Tailored Tool. First you made sports apparel, but then you switched. When did the crossover happen? Yeah, so I was working at a bridal store here in Portland, kind of fell in love with the entire wor uh, mm. world of bridal. Um, and at the time I was engaged, yeah. so looking for my own veil, trying on things all the time. And it just kind of clicked one day that I needed to make one just uh -huh. to test it out and see what that would be like. So I made one, loved it, decided to put it on Etsy just for fun, uh -huh. um, see if it would sell, and then it did. Did another one, kind of got the ball rolling, um, wow. and it's grown from there. As you might imagine, I know nothing about veils, <laughs> but I know enough to know that these are gorgeous. And the, the, the beadwork, I guess you would call that, just seems so beautiful. And then you have lettering on them. Is that kind of a new thing, or is that your thing, or what? I did a different kind of take on the embroidered look. This is a heat press customization, uh -huh. and it's vinyl that gets put onto the veils, um, kind of in a special way since the fabric is so delicate. Yeah. And we're able to do really customized quotes, or wow. sometimes we've taken letters from people's relatives. Wow. and then you can actually put that onto the veil. So if somebody's wow. missing from the big day and you want them there with you, it's a really great way to do that. It must be a thrill for you to play such a vital role in such an important part of someone's life. I mean, do you, are you aware of that or is it just like one more veil going out the door? Oh no, when we get photos back, it's like Christmas every single day because they're professional photos. You get to see the joy on all these brides' faces. Yeah. And then so many of them reach out to us after they've gotten married and just tell us how special it was to them, so it really makes us feel good. Is there a temptation to try to recreate some of her designs? Oh my gosh, you know, that's a good idea. I haven't even <laughs> considered it, but if they were life-size patterns, these are all miniatures, so I'd yeah. have to make them into life-size patterns and then try to attempt it. Um, I'm sure there's a kimono in here or something that would be really If you cool. do it and then put it on TikTok and it goes crazy, Grandma gets part of the credit. Yeah, 100, okay. and so right. do you, clearly. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, it was so great to, to, to visit with you today, and thanks for sharing this uh, with us. This is a beautiful book, so thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. So uh, Katie's grandma, Miyako, uh, still sews today. In fact, wow. she donated like 3,000 masks wow. that she donated oh. to her local community. She lives in uh, Hawaii, so wow. uh, the tradition continues. So. And if you look, if it looks like Jeff is glowing, <laughs> it's because there's a His special wife. connection that we have with Katie here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she is my wife. And <laughs> You're so proud. Uh, yeah, and it was just cool to see this blossom from yeah. like, around when we had our wedding. You know, yeah. she made her own veil at the time, and then we had to postpone it. And it's just crazy how mm -hmm. quickly things change. Well, and she was saying, I mean, she sold thousands, and I mean, around the world. Wow. Yeah. Yes. From right here in Portland. That's really right. Cool. Yeah. yeah, and it, it's uh, all women that she, you know, yeah. has employed, employed you know, yeah. under her. So mm -hmm. it, it's just a great, uh -huh. great thing going on. Love yeah. it. Great yeah. story, Tony. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank yeah. you, Katie. Yeah. Thanks to Katie. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, let's